Hey, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at image blocks and how to get them to stack earlier. Have you ever been using an image block and you start shrinking down the screen size, the window, and you're like, man, it just starts to look so terrible at smaller screen sizes. I wish it would stack earlier. Well, I have had that thought and I know other people have too because I saw the question asked in the Squarespace Facebook group. So we're going to look at how to get it to stack, how it looks in the mobile view on bigger screen sizes. Alright, so it's actually really simple. It doesn't take a lot of CSS at all. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is Obviously, we want to wrap this code in a media query. So we're going to say at media screen and we'll set the max width to 800 pixels. So when the window gets to 800 pixels or smaller, it's going to stack like it does in the mobile view. So let's go ahead and look at our code right click and inspect so looking at the code you can see we have our image block here this is the parent container and then we have two child containers the image container on the left and the card text container on the right so the way this is set up right now to get them side by side you can see over here the parent container gets a display of flex and that allows these two containers to sit next to each other and then each child container gets a width of 50%. If you scroll down here you can see this card container is getting a width of 50%. So really all we have to do is set the parent container to a display of block so they're no longer side by side they're stacked and then we just have to set these two widths to 100%. So, as I said before, it really, it hardly takes any CSS at all, and it'll make your site look a lot better. So, okay, so I'm going to paste that code in my media query. We don't need anything except for the display, and we're going to set it to block. So then the next thing we have to do is just set each side-by-side -side container to have a width of 100%. So I'm going to copy that, that code, paste it below. I'm going to set the width to 100% and save that. And then lastly, let's just check our progress right now. Okay, so you can see the width we just set to 100% for the image. So that's working. Now we just have to set this card container to 100% as well. So we take the image card wrapper, scroll down here to where it says it's width image card wrapper. Its width is 50%. I'm going to copy that, paste that in here, and set the width to 100%. And that's it. So now we can set whatever screen size we want for the image card to stack in this fashion. So pretty cool how easy it is just with a little knowledge of CSS to make your websites more pleasing on different screen sizes. Alright guys, thank you very much and hopefully you found this tutorial helpful.